Alright, let me see who we got going on here. Um, mm, 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 I don't think we did Virgo. I didn't do Virgo, I don't believe. Let's do Virgo. I think I did Capricorn and Taurus. Let's do Virgo. What do you have for Virgo for the end of November? 2019. Last part of November 2019 for Virgo. Hmm. Fresh flowers. Why am I seeing fresh flowers? Hmm. No chocolate, so he's not trying to make you fat. <laughs> oh, for staffs moving forward. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. What can y'all see? Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, ooh, emotion. Let me get two for the overall up here, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm saying putting an ending to a problem and possibly picking up a love offer. Eight of Swords and Temperance. Mm. Did you find you a Sagittarius? Or an Aries? Or is it just some kind of fire sign? Maybe a water sign. Hmm. How about that Wheel of Fortune for me? Can you talk about it to me just a little bit more? Thank you, thank you, thank you. please. Virgo, do you have a headache? I'm getting a headache. Right across, right across here. Or maybe you hit the front of your forehead on something. Distant horizon. I feel like it's not so distant now. Ten of cups. Lovers, Gemini. <laughs> oh my goodness. I seen that when I laid the cards down. How about that? Queen of Cups. Well, Virgo, it looks like everything is going fairly well right in your life. But you got that Eight of Swords up there. We're going to see what that's about in a minute. High honors. Okay. The Emperor. The Emperor. Main male. The Eight of Swords, please. What's that about? What sinus headache? I feel it in my jaws now, my face, my forehead, and my jaws, my eyes. It's really hurting. Thoughts. You put him on the list. You put him on the list. I knew it wouldn't take long. Temperance. I might have had something to do with that, huh? Since I said he was coming. <laughs> Too funny. Main female. How about that three of staffs? Poverty. All right. Let's get on the three of staffs with the poverty. I feel like you're up in your head is what it is. 
Ace of Coins, yeah. That's what it is. You're up in your head, woman. What was that, 37? I need some words of wisdom. So, in partnership terms, you may feel defenseless and unloved. Uh, it predicts deprivation and a lack of both material and emotional matters. Learn from the crisis. You are worried about the future. You're up in your head. You're over here. I mean, there's not that banana card. You, you got the swords tied by or that. Your hands behind your back. They're not actually tied. They're just there. And you got swords around you, and you're not looking up. And you could get out of it. Okay, so that's you up in your head. And this here, with this here, is you up in your head. Not knowing of the future and scared to step forward with it. All right, on the toils and labor, please. Toils and labor for Virgo at the end of November. Thank you. The world. Yeah, look. You got the will of fortune and the world. All right. I'm not a cups with the distant horizon that I feel that's not so distant. What about that? Two of staffs. You are seeing if you... He's on the list. He's on the list, but you still don't know if you want to go towards him or stay over. He's at the bottom of the list. How's that? He's at the bottom. He made the little tiny gap at the bottom of the list. That's right here. But actually, he has moved up over here. <laughs> the lovers on the Ten of Cups. We gotta make it. Okay, now I'm staff. You're still defensive on it. Who is the high honors and the queen of cups? My poor dog. Somebody fed him something outside. I guess X likes or something. And I tell you what, I know, TMI. But I let him out three or four times in the middle of the night, sometime between 11 and 2 o'clock this morning. Three, three, four different times. And finally I got tired of it because I thought he was just trying to go outside and enjoy the cool air. I was like, boy, I need to go to sleep. I popped him on the butt and sitting in the room and put the gate in front of it. I come in here and lay down, and I heard an explosion back there. I went back there, and I had to clean up all that mess. And I felt so bad for popping him on the butt. I mean, I didn't hit him hard. It did upset him because you, you can talk to him in a rough voice, and it upsets him. But he went out three or four times after that using the bathroom. And he's been laying over there on my spot on the couch, all, almost, not lethargic, but a little bit, a little bit dehydrated. He's got a little bit of a shake to him. And I think one of them kids gave him some X-Lax. The 
this side. Oh, some of you have a baby daddy. That is trying to come back in. You're not sure if you want to let them come back in. Let me get one of them thoughts on the Eight of Swords, please. Thoughts on the Eight of Swords. Oh, my poor boy. He's so sick. He's 12 years old. Yeah. Chariot. You don't know if it's going to work out. You're scared to even let it try to work out. You really don't have time for it, is what you're saying. But he's at the bottom of the list. And right at this moment, you're looking for a way out. But, <laughs> there's I'm going to explain it to you, okay? I know this is the, the Ace of Pentacles. And I know that's a hand and an arm. This, I feel like this puddle right here. It's like a love puddle. And you got your foot over there in it and you just kind of sticking your toes in it, testing it out. And you're like, I don't know. It is warm. I just don't know. Main thing now on temperance. Let's that. Thank you. Truth. Queen of Swords. Captain. Captain, Captain, Captain. It's on the main female. So there is a female that you're cutting out from somewhere. Or maybe they did. No, that's you. have another female that uh, cut them out or they cut them out but if they did it was just somebody that it was a like a light flirtatious with I don't think it was like we lived together sex thing anything like that or marriage feel like this is moving way too fast for you. Matter of fact, you got your chariot over there ready to move. Like, you keep coming closer. I told you I, I can't see nobody this week. I gotta go. And that's because you've been dipping your foot in that love puddle over there. It's so warm, but it's wet. Oh. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> Let's see what else they got me for you. You got anything else for Virgo here? For Virgo. For the last part of November. Working on it, the fool. Work on it, and you'll be happy. Work on that ten of cups, and you'll be happy. Stop taking defense on it. Instead of reaching over there and sticking one little toe in a little pool, just go and sit on the edge, flop your feet down in there. Let them get wet. Pull up your britches so they don't get wet. That'll help ground you, too. Maybe you should actually do that in the pool to get grounded so you can get more thought on it. But, yeah, it says work on this this uh, love, lovers, Gemini. 
to be happy. You're going to be happy. It's going to make you happy. And that seems to be the emphasis of right now in this reading of what you want is to be happy. Maybe you're worried they're going to cut you out. Once you put them halfway up on the list. Uh-oh. Go with the camera. My little doggy knocked it over. Say hi, doggy. Say tug tug. My boy's sick. Yeah. Mama's boy's sick. That's my dog. One of them. Anyway. Um, that is your reading for the end of November. Please give me a like, a share, and subscribe. If you don't mind. Um, also, if you'd like a personal reading, everything is in my about. If you'd like to donate, that's over there too. I am a single parent. Uh, hmm. I do love to read cards. So blessings to you, Virgo. Let go a little bit. Stick your whole foot in the pool. <laughs>